Now take a look at the graph shown here. We're told, in words, describe the motion depicted on the graph. Well, there's three segments here. This first segment is pretty steep, so that's during the first two seconds. That means it's moving pretty quickly. A steep graph indicates faster motion, as long as it's a position versus time graph. The steeper the graph, the faster the motion. And we can see specifically it started out at zero, and over the course of two seconds, it went up to this position. X is seven feet. And then during this time interval, from two to five, its position did not change. It just stayed right here the entire time. Notice during that time, time is moving forward, but the position is not changing. That means it's sitting still. It sat still for three seconds, and then it moved forward again over these next three seconds from five to eight during this section of the graph. It moved from this position, uh, 8, up to this position, 14. So in words, I'll say it just very simply like this. The object moved forward 8 feet in 2 seconds. The object moved forward 8 feet in 2 seconds. And then it sat still for three seconds. And then it moved forward six more feet in the last three seconds. So I'll say then it moved forward six more feet in the last three seconds. That's just a pretty straightforward and clear verbal description of the motion shown on that graph. Now we can use this graph to answer the questions specifically. We can answer these numerically what the speed was at various times. So during the first two seconds, during this time interval, what was the speed? Well, during that time, you should see that the distance it covered was uh, 8 feet, because at time 0, it was at position 0, and at time 2 seconds, that point indicates that at time 2 seconds, it was at position 8. So if, if we want to know the speed of the object, the speed will be the distance divided by the time, and during those first 2 seconds, it went 8 feet. So 8 feet is the, the distance, 2 seconds is the time, and you can see that 8 over 2 reduces to 4, and we still have our feet and our seconds, which mathematically need to stick around here. So 4 feet per second, and you recognize feet per second as a speed. We're also asked, what was the speed from 2 seconds to 5 seconds? So let's look at the graph. From 2 to 5, that's when its position wasn't changing. Its, its position was right here at 8 the entire time. So if its position is not changing, then its speed is 0. And you can just write down the answer, 0. What was the speed of the object? If you want to, you can say 0 feet per second. But the units don't really matter, because 0 feet per second would be 0 miles per hour, or 0 inches per week, whatever you wanted to do, it would be 0. If you want to show the calculation, you can still think distance over time. The formula still applies. It just goes zero feet during these three seconds. And zero over three you recognize as a zero. That's zero feet per second is your answer. You can just write the answer down, though, if you recognize that the horizontal portion of the graph means it's not moving because its position is not changing. So we have four feet per second during the first time interval and zero feet per second during the second. And then we're also asked, what was the speed from 5 seconds to 8. So during these 3 seconds, from 5 seconds to 8, that's a 3 second time interval. You can count them. 1, 2, 3. During those 3 seconds, at, at 5 seconds, it was at this position, 8. That's a 8 on our x-axis, position axis. And then at 8 seconds, this point right here indicates that it was up here at position 14. So 
Another way to look at it is to imagine drawing these lines right here. Think about this point and this point, those two points, and those two points define this time interval, and then draw these lines over here. Those two points define this change in position. So the speed is going to be the distance, which you should see right here is 6 feet, divided by the time, which you see right there is 3 seconds. So let's write that in. The distance divided by the time is 6 feet divided by 3 seconds. And the 6 over 3 reduces to a 2, and we still have the feet per second. So the speed during that last segment was 2 feet per second. And you can see this. During the first segment, the speed was 4. During the last segment, the speed was 2. And if we look at the graph, we see that during the first segment, when the speed was greater, the graph is steeper than it is during the second segment, when the speed is less, or the last segment, when the speed is less. In each of these calculations, the speed over that, over that given time interval is the slope of the segment for that time interval. And the calculation, delta x over delta t, our change in position over our change in time, is, is a slope calculation. It's really just the rise over the run. And the slope on a position versus time graph is always the speed.